Misconception number one, Resolve is an alternative for Premiere Pro. Not true at all. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com. And today I'm clarifying some of the myths that surround DaVinci Resolve. I'm titling the video the top five myths in DaVinci Resolve just as a clickbait. Uh, we're gonna be discussing more, but five seems like a nice number for a clickbait. With something like Resolve that is really evolving, sometimes it can get a bit confusing to understand what is Resolve and what does it do. And I feel like I'm in a good position to clarify this because I received many emails asking questions about Resolve. And some of these questions are clearly misconceptions. So today we're going to be taking a look at the top, I'm not sure how many misconceptions, I'm just reading from my phone here, but we're gonna take a look at the top the misconceptions about Resolve. Misconception number one. Resolve is an alternative for Premiere Pro. Not true at all. You see, Premiere Pro is used for editing. Uh, however, DaVinci Resolve does way more than Premiere Pro. So Adobe has a bunch of software. So there's Premiere Pro for editing. There's After Effects for compositing, which is a fancy way of saying uh, visual effects. There is Adobe Audition, uh, you know, to work with audio. And finally, there's Adobe Encoder for, you know, converting your files and, you know, creating proxies and stuff. Now, all of these softwares are baked into DaVinci Resolve. So Resolve replaces uh, Premiere Pro for editing, After Effects for compositing, and the rest of the softwares. So DaVinci Resolve cannot be compared to Premiere Pro. DaVinci Resolve can be compared to the Adobe Video Suite, where it can replace all the functionality of the software. So that was the first misconception, because I get a lot of emails asking whether I should use DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. Maybe that was true like five years ago. However, now Resolve is a replacement for all the Adobe Video Suite. The second misconception is that Resolve only works if you have certain hardware from Blackmagic Design. Again, not true. Resolve does not need any hardware from Blackmagic to run, it can just run on your normal PC right out of the box and it works perfectly. Then we have the next misconception, which is DaVinci Resolve does not play H.264 footage. Well, let's take a look. This is Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve and this is a video file. Let's take a look at the file. I'll right click, find in media pool. This is my file in media pool, reveal in finder. And let's take a look at the file in finder. This file is a 4K file with the H.264 coding. So let's take a look at Resolve playing this file back so I can just get over this thing. And that was a 4K H.264 file that plays smoothly and Resolve. And let me emphasize that this is the free version. I'm currently running the free version of Resolve, which we'll just discuss more about in a bit, but this is the free version. The next misconception is that the free version of Resolve does not play 4K files. Again, this is the free version. Let's take a look at it one more time. Again, free Resolve. Sorry if I'm overemphasizing this, but I just get this question a lot. So this is a 4K file that is compressed with H.264 codec, and let's simply play it. I think this is clear. The free version of Resolve is capable of playing and exporting 4K files and working with H.264 footage. The next misconception is that the free version of Resolve does not use hardware acceleration. It cannot use your GPU. Again, not true. There is one difference here. The free version of Resolve can work with one GPU. So I have this machine here and inside the machine there is one GPU and the free version works with this single GPU. The paid version of Resolve is capable of utilizing multiple GPUs. So you can use multi GPUs at the same time. But again, if you're having a setup with multiple GPUs, the paid version of Resolve is literally less than the price of a mid-tier phone or even cheaper than a mid-tier phone. Now, most of our smartphones are more expensive than Resolve. The next misconception is that Resolve doesn't allow you to customize the interface. Well, let's take a look. This is the interface of Resolve and most of these panels can be hidden or expanded. For example, this is the media pool, I can click here to hide it or show it. And I can click this button to make it only occupy the top left corner or the entire left part of the screen. I can make it wider or narrower. I have the source monitor and the timeline monitor. I can join them in one monitor. I can click this button to show the inspector. And again, I can make the inspector longer so it takes the full height of the screen or 
shrink it and I can click this button to hide or show the audio mixer and I can change the height of my timeline. So this is for the edit panel and similar customization can also be done in color and in fair light. For example, this is the color panel. I can show or hide timelines or clips. I can hide the gallery or show it. So a lot of customization can be done to the Resolve interface. The next misconception is that the free version of Resolve does not allow you to use multicam, which is not true. The free version is capable of working with multicam uh, with 4K files smoothly. Then there is the misconception that keyframing is very hard in Resolve. Well, it's actually pretty simple, straightforward. For example, let's keyframe this footage here. I'll place the playhead here, open the inspector, and I'll simply want to change the position. So I'll click on the keyframe for positioning, and I just created a keyframe. How hard was that? Then I'll move to this point, move the clip to the right, and I just added a new keyframe. And I can simply click this icon here to show my keyframes and I can move them around. Let's just mute the timeline and play and note that the keyframes are just playing smoothly and notice this is a 4K file that is H.264 playing on a six-year-old laptop. Then we have the misconception that simply says that Resolve is not a real NLE. It's not good for editing. The editor in Resolve is simply designed for tweaking your pre-edited timelines, uh, which is again not true. Resolve's NLE, or the editing part in Resolve, is extremely advanced, like really advanced, with things like multicam and nested timelines, where you can nest multiple timelines inside one another. You can also add 3D titles in Resolve, and every single control can be keyframed. Again, every every single control. A built-in optical flow uh, controller in the free version of Resolve. So the free version of Resolve includes an optical flow controller where you can slow down your timeline and it will interpolate new frames between your existing frames. It also has audio overlays, open effects plugins, smart bins that depends on your metadata and keyboard shortcuts. All this in the free version of Resolve. And the biggest misconception in the universe, Resolve is slow in playback. Again, not true. This laptop is from 2012. It's the first written Mac from mid-2012. Let's take a look at the properties of this device. About this Mac, and this is a Retina mid-2012 with a 2.6 i7 processor, only 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it has an NVIDIA GT650M with 1 gig of memory. So this is not a powerhouse machine at all. I've been using it fluently with Resolve for a very long time, and Resolve is even designed to work with lower specs machines. So you can always come to playback, work in proxy mode where you drop the resolution, you can render cache, and you can also render optimized media. And again, if you want to start with Resolve, it's absolutely free. There are two free things you need to start with Resolve. First, Resolve itself, you can just head to Blackmagic Design, download it for free, and we also have a full free starting guide on Resolve on filmsimplified.com. And it's just not a simple course about editing. The course is actually designed into multiple sections, where every section deals with a certain tab in Resolve. So there's a section for edit where we explain the edit tab. Then there's a section about fusion, the basics of fusion. Then we have a section about color, a section for fair light, and a section for the delivered tab. And the course assumes no prior knowledge in even editing or any of these topics. We explain these topics for the absolute beginner with no prior experience, whether in editing, in compositing, in color, we assume no prior knowledge at all. I hope this clarifies a lot of things about Resolve because with the speed Blackmagic Design is developing Resolve, it's sometimes a bit tricky to you know, keep track on what Resolve does because with Resolve 15, for example, or even 14, a lot of things that were written about Resolve on the internet you know, from like a year before just became irrelevant now. I really believe that Blackmagic Design just um, benefiting the whole industry. They're just giving you one of the most powerful tools to ever exist in the film industry. And they're just making it available for all of us for free. Uh, it's an unbelievable opportunity. I mean, for my generation, Resolve was just a dream. Like really a lot of filmmakers couldn't even think of working with Resolve at any time in their life. And now you can just download it and work on it on your laptop. It's an unbelievable opportunity for all of us. Please, Download Resolve and head to filmsimplified.com to learn all the basics uh, about Resolve. And thank you. Filmsimplified.com.